All right, guys, we're back after a month long break. We went through a Siberian winter here in the Midwest, as I'm sure many of y'all up north would laugh at us when I said our temps got down in the negative 13. So we were cold over here for a while, but today we're at about, we're gonna reach just about 60 degrees. The next week is all 60 degrees. So you could say that our homestead is in full time gearing up for the springtime. You ready? Yes. Okay, so today we are doing something we've been wanting to do for a while. It's getting way too hot in the greenhouse now for the pigs. Um, a couple updates on the pigs. It's been a long time since I've updated y'all. Uh, but first thing, we lost all our plants. Doo, doo, doo. All of our plants are gone thanks to those guys right there. I came in the greenhouse one day and uh, rolled the plastic back so that we could get some of the heat off the plants and when i did i left and i forgot about these chickens being able to come over and clear both areas of fencing and they plucked out every single one of our seedlings so that didn't go over very well so these guys what's up ernie what is up guys y'all ready to go philly Ryder, you ready to go buddy baby pigs yes that's the other thing we sold all of our piglet uh, we had a good response and our first sale of our piglet so we're okay. excited about that yes we're gonna keep all these huh? oh all these full we're never carrying them yeah we're never getting rid of these ones these are our mainstays and uh, we're gonna be breeding philly and we're gonna be breeding fern again we'll probably breed fern one more time and uh philly's got a couple i mean she's gonna have babies in yeah so we had a good response on our piglets. They sold really quickly. And so we're excited about that. We got them out of here. They had a wonderful first um, couple months of life in this uh, sheltered area here. They didn't get to experience the Siberian winter. Guys, it's amazing what a greenhouse can do because I came in here one day, it was one degree outside and it was 60 degrees inside the greenhouse. Of course, the sun was out but it's just amazing what these greenhouses can do and how much they can um, heat up inside of here with the sun out. The, the caveat there is the sun has to be out. The sun is what heats these things up. And then at night, when the sun's not out, everything kind of drops, you know, and it's basically the same degrees in here as it is outside. So, Fern, you ready to get out of here or what? I think it's coming with shorts on. Yes, Fern is ready to go. They're all ready to go. We're going to get their water out of here. We're going to get their feeding trough and moving in the pasture. All of it is going to go. So I know Fern's excited. Um, Fern, I need to trim your hoof soon. Huh? You need to get a little hoof trimming, right? Yeah. All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Isaiah, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need some clippers. They're in my truck. Clippers. Go to my front seat of my truck. Uh -huh. Right, It's right there. And you'll find these blue handle clippers. We're gonna get those and cut these uh, fence post things off. Um, one time, um, 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 Otis came out the phone and he, he was biting the hairs off his whole butt. <laughs> yes, that happened. He was like biting his whole butt and stuff. <laughs> his nose is I'm sure Fern not like that. Well, you will actually. Yeah, here. We're gonna go like this. Shake it over to the pasture. There they go! There they go! Don't drop it. Hey, you gotta come back closer to them. They don't know where to go.
Come on! I gotta get it. Piggies are back out of the pasture. They're gonna be loving us. And life. Getting, some, getting their food on. I'm gonna take part of this video to just update you guys on everything that's been going on. So for the bees, we lost two of our hives. We lost this hive right here. That was not very strong. And then we also lost this hive right here. There's only one in this box. And then this one survived. Last time I checked, last time it was warm, they were out moving around. Let's see if there's any activity in there. Oh no, did they die? A couple weeks ago, we had still have one hive left out of our three. And I think during that cold front that hit and got way down into the negatives, uh, I think we lost our last, last hive, which is unfortunate. That means all of our hives this year went kaput. This has happened to us many times. Um, we still have not gotten the hang of beekeeping um, other than we just, you know, we don't devote enough time and attention to taking care of uh, them, looking after them, making sure they have what they need and they have enough food over winter and they stay warm enough. Um, that was the hope with this hive this year or these um, bee boxes this year and it just didn't accomplish what we wanted it to. So I would still highly recommend these bee boxes. Um, if you haven't seen the, the video where I make these hives, you can uh, check out the description below and I'll leave a link for you. Um, but I would still highly recommend these beehives. Um, they worked out great for us. Uh, we just, we skipped some steps on the tops. So the covers, and I think that's where a lot of our cold got in. And so we'll make sure that we don't do that this coming season. Um, unfortunately, I think it might be too late to order hives. If not, I am definitely gonna get a hive ordered today uh, because I wanna make sure that we have bees this summer. Wow. I'm just looking here. Check this out. There's bees moving right here. So maybe it's too cold. There's the queen. You see that? The queen is right there. She has a blue dot on her back. And it looks like she might still be alive. So you know what? I'm going to put... Yeah, they're starting to move around. Ooh, they're getting warmed up. That's what's happening. Wow. Okay. I'm going to put these hives back, or these frames back, and see where we're at a little bit from now. Definitely still a ton of dead bees here. That is a queen though. I wonder if she's alive. She's still moving. She's definitely still moving. I'm gonna put her back, see where we get. I still kind of have no doubt that this hive is gone. But it's interesting, you know. Come on, little girl. Move around. Thaw out. Everybody needs to thaw out. Take a little treat while I'm sitting working here. Mmm. If you've never had honey straight from the hive, you gotta try it. It's amazing. This isn't, this hasn't been sitting very long. I can tell by the way it's capped, but in the viscosity of it, but it's so good. Just bite the comb, let the honey squeeze out into your mouth, and then spit the wax out. Mmm. So good. Hey, y'all want some honey? 
Want some honey? Honey! 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 You good? Yum. Uh huh. Remember, chew on the comb. You chew it. Uh -huh. And then spit the comb out. You chew on the wax. And then spit it out. Yeah, there you go. Mm. He eat the honey. Mm hmm. Okay, so because those guys are moving around right around the queen, you can see the queen is the one with the blue dot on her back. I'm gonna let them be. They're right next to the honey, so they're probably eating. They're getting some sun on them, so they're warming up and moving around again. Obviously, we still have a massacre here. This is way too many bees to die. I mean, some of them are still moving around down there, but most of those are dead. Um, I would assume a lot of these over here are dead. So all in all, I think we still probably have uh, a dead hive here, but um, I'm hoping and praying that by some miracle, those little group of bees and the ones that are kind of just straggling around left there, that they can use those honey stores and get their energy back up and somehow the queen can start laying again. I don't know. Uh, but if we can get that queen laying, then, uh, then we can have a hive again. I am still going to order a hive to make sure that we have a hive for the summer. And I can pull some splits from the hive that we get. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Just wanted to give you all a quick update on the bees and what's going on there. I'm going to give my wife some of this honey over here. How you like that, Fernie? You good? Let's <laughs> hop. See if we got any slops inside. Oh yeah. Tilt full bucket. Way. A full bucket. I'm gonna love that. I got the bucket there, Fun. I got it. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be good. You even got an egg in there. And some coffee. Right. Spaghetti. Alright, we're gonna go back, grab their watering trough and their food bucket and everything they need to live over on this side of the property. Fern use a stone. I would just bought some cell in there. I love the sound of them sipping water. It's like it's like a drink into a straw. So our pond froze over during the uh, cold front we had come through and we were walking on it sliding on it all sorts of stuff well now it's starting to thaw out we're gonna give our ducks a little treat here comes peter peter come on come on peter Oh my goodness, they're fighting over her. Like she's mine. <laughs> you see a Biden story? All 
all of the projects that have been outstanding for the past, I don't know, four or five months. We're basically going through and finishing every single one of those projects so that when summer is full bloom, everything is complete and done. We'll have grass grown down. We moved the, there used to be a big pile of dirt here we used for the raised beds. That is now pushed over and I leveled this whole ground right here. Eventually we'll come back in the spring here and we'll plant some grass all in this area so that it's all covered with grass. But the goal is this by the beginning of the summer to have all of these things seamed up so that everything is nice and put together here and we don't have outstanding projects, we don't have trash everywhere, we don't look like a redneck house basically is the goal. We want this property to be a beautiful place where people can come and uh, spend time and relax and find healing. Um, that's what the whole premise of the Garden of Tears was right here. And so we're going to be finishing these raised beds along this side, along the back side. We're going to do the arbor for the entrance to the Garden of Tears. Actually didn't show y'all something. I will show you the inside of the nook. We did finish the nook up and it looks awesome in here. So it is now paneled. So the nook was not insulated and I came through and on a previous video I showed y'all how we came through and started to insulate and panel this thing and it, this is the finished product. We might come through later and paint it. If you put a heater in here, now it holds temperature. It can get up to 80 degrees in here if you want it to when it's five degrees outside. We got the uh, window unit for the summer and so yeah, that's a little low. So, um, we're gonna put a couch right here. We got rid of the two chairs that were here and we're gonna put a couch along this wall so that you can come in here and it's just a nice place to hang out. Peaceful time to spend time in prayer, whatever it is, just to come and have a peaceful time here in the Garden of Tears. It feels like this has been, well, this has been a very long project and getting the homestead all together if you, if you never saw the original vision of um, me kind of mapping out what the homestead was going to look like in a number of years, go back and watch that video. I'll leave it in the description below. But it's one of our first videos and kind of me laying out the vision of what this could look like in a number of years. And everything was right in that video, the greenhouse. Actually, the greenhouse location was iffy, but the greenhouse, the garden right here, and the pond back here, everything eventually got done. Whether it took, you know, a number of years or not, it eventually got done. So, last thing I wanna mention is the greenhouse. Obviously, uh, we have plans to plant inside of this greenhouse this year. Once the chicken coop gets built on the top part of the hill where the pigs are, we are gonna move all these chickens over there and we are going to get rid of all of this fencing and we're gonna start to till up the soil here and get it all prepped for growing. These guys have been in here all winter um, and they have been fertilizing the soil and doing what chickens do best. <clears throat> Scratching, pecking, and pooping. So our soil will be nice and fertilized from all these chickens. And so we'll come back through here. We won't do a deep till. We'll actually take our broad fork here. We'll use the broad fork to do a deep uh, fork into the ground, lift the soil. And then we'll do a top till on the just the very top of the soil. We don't want to till it up too much. But we do need to get rid of some of that hard pack that's in the soil right now. Anyway, guys, that's the goal for this spring. We are super excited that the thaw has come and we are headed out of winter and into spring here soon. Everything is getting ramped up here on the homestead. We have plants that we're gonna be starting here soon that we ordered, a bunch of seeds. And uh, anyway, if you can't tell, we are excited. I am excited for this spring. Anyway, guys, that's it for us here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we will see y'all in the next video.